Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna to be doing a sublimation um, project on this tumbler. So what's cool is this tumbler is a straight wall, so it's super easy, or not super easy, easier to handle, right? Because we can just, if you think about math back in our elementary school days, right? A cylinder you basically is, um, it's a rectangle, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna measure. Um, so we're gonna measure the length of this. And this is about eight inches, okay? So eight inches from top to bottom. And then you want to measure around because this is when you, you know, cut it open, it's basically gonna be a square, right? It's gonna be eight inches high and Let's see, so you're gonna measure it all the way around and it's nine and a quarter. So let's go and create a design and we'll, I'll talk you through some of these things. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do, um, oh, custom size, gosh, I'm losing my head. So I want uh, the width to be 9.25, oops, I want this in inches, so hold up. So, 9.25 by 8 inches. So we're going to create this design. And the reason why I'm doing it in Canva and not in Design Space is because um, in Design Space, I won't. I can only print out 9.25 by 6.75. So I'm going to be losing, um, you know, some. Well we need nine and a quarter so i'll be losing 0.25 and then i need eight inches but i can only go up to 6.75 so that would have left some blank space on here so this is going to be much easier so as you can see here this is nine and a quarter inches so from side to side and then from top to bottom it's eight inches this is our tumbler basically flattened out so now we can start dropping in things that we want so i've already uploaded I mean, this is what I love about Canva. Canva's gonna make it super easy. Um, normally, I already have a feel for what I wanna design. As you know, I lost my baby brother recently. So um, I know I wanna make this Tumblr. <laughs> I wanna show you how pictures print out really well. Um, and I'm sort of doing this on the fly. I picked out some pictures that were um, important to me, uh, you know, with, with my, uh, family members, I'm sorry. I still, I don't know how, this is like my first real real loss. Um, so I know that you guys out there are experiencing the same and uh, would also want to, you know, create things, right? So I'm trying and I feel like, whew, um, I feel like this will, help me through this, you know, sort of like therapeutic as well. So ignore the crying, <laughs> ignore the voice. We're going to craft and I'm just going to, I'm going to make it through this time. So, all right, let's do this. So my brother is super silly and, uh, this was, you know, funny to him. It was like, you know, instead of Wu-Tang Clan, it's Wu Kang. So his one of his friends got this for me. They did, they made that for me. So I'm going to put that kind of like here. Now, I know some of this stuff is mainly pictures, right? So I'm thinking I want to go to elements. And because I want like pretty pictures, right? Like I want a a round shape. So I'm going to type in photo box. And let's see what we get. And I'm still really new to Canva. I know I like it because it, it helps me design things. I'm not good at actual like design art. So I'm going to put maybe photo frame. And maybe you guys can let me know how to do this better. So there are, I'm going to try to find one to show you what I mean. But I like using it because it will kind of edit how the pictures look as well. Um, but I need to find the ones, darn it. What am I calling it? It's a, 
let me see if I can find this one. I used this one recently and I found it. If you're not looking for photos, that's something that I'm still learning how to use, like how to drop in photos. Um, but they have so, oh here, this is what I'm talking about. You see how like, then the pictures will come in. Um, but this is weird. I don't know what that green space is for, why there is a green space. Because watch. So we drop this one in, right? Let's say we want to make it this big. I'm going to go to uploads and I'm going to put in a picture of him and his dog. So when I drop it over to the front, it will automatically take it in here. And you see like now it's like a perfectly um, circular photo right like it looks more finished and polished to me i don't know why that green thing is there that's the only thing so i need to find i don't know what they call these things so, oh photo holder frame okay photo holder frame <laughs> i am losing my head this okay so i want these things here okay so let me get rid of this one okay so I want things like this and this. I don't understand what this, maybe I can get rid of it. So I know we're, we're doing this together. Um, I want to, let's see if it will let me, how do I, It gets rid of the whole thing. I don't want that. Okay, so I'm gonna drop in a few of these. So here's like a half picture, right? Um, I don't get this, <laughs> but that's okay. Here's another picture. I'll maybe drop it in here. I'm gonna have to make it smaller because I, I have quite a few pictures. Um, Maybe do one of these, right? So this will just help me, again, make it look more polished because this is gonna be a bunch of pictures and we can put text in as well, right? So um, maybe one of these. And this is gonna wrap around the tumbler. So you can see it's just, um, it's really, you know, really easy to use. Um, hmm. All right, let's drop in the pictures and see what we have. So I definitely want a picture of him and his dog. I'm gonna put it in that one. And you can see when you double click on it, I can make that picture smaller, I think. Or I can't. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> it's a cute little picture. Um, this is a picture of... We are on a ski lift. Oh, why can't I make it smaller? Normally... That's really weird. That's a horrible picture. <laughs> oh, this is... Um, I know you guys are probably like, what in the world is going on here? All right, I'm gonna put this picture in here. I see, I, I feel like I, oh, see, I can make it bigger. Maybe I just can't make it smaller. Okay. I kind of like that oval shape, so I'm gonna do Control C and V, right? And I'm gonna drop in a different picture. I'm gonna drop in this picture. Oops. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put in this picture. Perfect. Um, there's a few more pictures, so let's go, let's get this one. And I put this picture. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna move this one over. Oh, maybe I'll move that one. And it doesn't have to be centered, right? Because it's gonna be on a on a tumbler. So I'm just dropping pictures in. I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> um, let's get another one of these and I'll drop it over here. I almost wonder if I should do like all honeycomb pictures. That might be cute. Okay, I'm rethinking this thing. I'm gonna do a bunch of these and kind of stack them around. And let's do one row. And you can see how like it really helps me line up everything, right? Um, right, so that gives me, it's lined up to the one to the right of it. This is in the middle. Um, let's get this one and drop it over here. Maybe we can space it out a little bit better like this. Um, So now actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and delete that. I'm going to take these four and copy and paste. Right. Maybe like this. And then maybe I can put some words here. So I'm going to drop this in here and do something really small. And then maybe I can do, all right, so let's drop in the pictures and see what they look like. So I'm gonna drop in this one and hopefully this one works out. Perfect. Um, drop in this one. So you double click on the picture so that you can adjust the picture. And if I do that, I can get my mom in there. Okay. I'm gonna do this one and drop it in here. And let's move this down, okay. Um, let's get this one over here. I know it's so, I mean, this tumbler is gonna look great, I think. Let's see if I can move this a little bit. and <laughs> Get the full dog in there. Um, all right, just a few more pictures and then we'll, and we can probably do a background, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it simple on this one, we'll see. Um, Oops, let me undo that. Um, all right, so we've got that. I have room for one more picture. I, let's see. I know my daughter, my daughter was really close to him. Um, all right, do I want a baby picture or do I want, I'm gonna do another picture with my daughter because they were such hams. Um, So I'm gonna double click on it so I can move it down so that the hands, the claws are in there. All right, so now let's do a little bit of some text. Um, let's go to text. And what I like about using the text here, clicking here and seeing some samples, is you can kind of see what they can look like, right? A lot of times, like I can't, I don't know which two fonts would look the best together. And so sometimes this helps, right? Like this, having that um, um, for comparison and gosh, what is the word that I'm looking for? <laughs> but you know, like a difference between the two. Um, but I like it for things like this, where it, it will pair up a cursive, like a handwriting font with a just a regular text one. So, um, I'm gonna find one. Maybe this. So when you click on it, it should pop over here. Oh, there it is. 
Okay, and I'm gonna put his name and we love you always. Okay, so I'm gonna ungroup this because I wanna be able to change up uh, where I put things. So this is the first name and I kind of want it smaller. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller like this. Maybe fit it up here. And I'm going to go play with the text a little bit. So I want to make this a different color, maybe a blue. And then when you go into effects, you can make it you can add easily add like this shadow, right? I feel like that shadow is not good because it's kind of hard to read. But this shadow with like a little bit around it is nice, right? Um, don't like that. Kind of like that. And then you can choose the colors here. So like um, that one has the blue and the pink. So I think if you click on it, oh no, you can't. That's just the color of it. So I'm going to keep it like that. This one I'm going to put up here. Maybe it won't be so aligned, but it'll be like this. Um, and I'm going to change the color for that one as well. Maybe I'll do it like this. Okay, go to effects. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just... Okay, that's horrible. Maybe that. Okay. So... I kind of like this. I'm going to print it and then I'm going to put it on um, the Tumblr. But you can kind of see how to design things. It's super easy. And in this case, if I had done this in design space, I wouldn't have been able to print it all like this, right? I would have been able to print each one of the honeycombs uh, or what is that? Six. So is that a hexagon? <laughs> so bad at that. Anyway, I would have been able to, to print and cut each one of these hexagons. But what would have been difficult is to then line them up to make sure they're straight. As opposed to printing this out, knowing it's going to fit completely, um, that's what I want to do. So all right, thank you for joining me. Thank you for your patience. Um, thank you for your support. I, I am going to use crafting as my therapy, and I hope that um, you guys stick around for the ride and I appreciate everything. So, all right. Thanks guys. Bye.